Welcome to Aquated. This video will uh, tell you some definitions and distinguish between aquaculture and fisheries. But even before we go uh, on to defining those two concepts and productions of seafood, I would like you to watch the following six images. So grab a pen, uh, make a note, and try to identify which are fisheries and which are aquaculture activities. So all pictures will have a number, so you just need to make a note of the number of the picture and what you think uh, it corresponds to. So in this case here, this first picture was taken in, in Portugal. Uh, and uh, what do you think? Do you think it's related with the fishery or with aquaculture? I'm going to go now to picture number two. So this picture uh, was taken in Thailand. I took this picture in Sontla Lagoon. And you need to take a guess if this is uh, a picture that is related with fisheries or aquaculture. And in this picture number three, it's also taken in Thailand. In this case, this is a, a, a beach, um, Shalatal Beach. Um, and then this is picture number three. And then I'm going to show you picture number four. This is again in Sampo Lagoon. And actually on the right hand side, there is my colleague, Dr. Eknarim. Um, and then you need to guess what this corresponds to. And this is picture number five. It's still in the same place in Sonkla Lagoon. And, and next I would like to show you a video. Let's see if this shows as a video. Yes. This is a video taken at the Coastal Aquaculture Research Institute, again in Thailand. And this is our last, actually, not the picture, it's a video. This is our last uh, video. So now that you've seen the six pictures, I'm going to actually tell you what aquaculture is according to the FAO definition, okay? So basically, aquaculture is the farming of aquatic organisms. And when we think about aquatic organisms, this includes not only fish, but also mollusks and crustaceans and all this. So aquatic plants and yes, crocodiles and alligators are included in this. Uh, turtles and amphibians, okay, mainly uh, aquatic organisms. One thing which is not, which I, I should let you know is that aquatic plants includes seaweeds and microalgae, okay. So, but it's farming of aquatic organisms in a specific way, so there is a bit more detail to this. So it's actually the farming of these organisms, but with some sort of intervention in the rearing process to enhance production. This can be stocking or feeding, protection from predators. So in, one thing that is very important to define, and this is important for the FAO statistics, farming also implies individual or corporate ownership of the stock being cultivated. Okay, basically there are two key points here, which is to enhance production and there is an owner of this. So if I look at this picture again, there are two essential criteria that together meet uh, and distinguish aquaculture from fisheries. So what you have here, this is um, farming of scallops, and we are enhancing production. We don't feed them because uh, scallops, they are filter feeders, but we are stocking them and we are protecting them from predators, okay? And above all, the second uh, key feature is we have an ownership. Someone has deployed these cages and someone owns this stock, okay? So here you have actually the, the role of aquaculture production, uh, food, fish and aquatic plants. So if we look at this, the biggest production is the lighter uh, blue color, which is inland fin fish. Okay? Um, and then if you, if you look closer, there is a big production here, really big production of aquatic plants. And they, they are all formed, these aquatic plants. Okay? Um, and, and then the second, well, the third actually biggest production is the mollusks. Okay? Fin fish from marine and coastal areas, it's a really small production still. And if you look closer, what we see since 1919, there is a big increase mainly of inland, inland uh, production. But also crustaceans, is, there is a slight increase. Okay? And this is from the FAO, the 2018, uh, the State of World Fisheries and Aquaculture. And the definitions of fisheries and aquaculture, they sometimes overlap and sometimes not difficult to distinguish them. But the definition is important so that the NFAO can create this, uh, this statistics analysis. There are some critics to, to the definition and uh, you will have a paper to discuss uh, based on this. So what is fisheries then? So fisheries and what you have in this picture is an old tradition in, in England. Uh, it's an old fisheries. 
Uh, it's, it's not. Uh, it's it's more of a cultural and historical um, fisheries, but in this case, the definition is aquatic organisms which are exploited by the public as a common property resource. This means there is no ownership to begin with. It's a common property. And it is with or without appropriate licenses, so you can have a license or you may not have a license, and they are harvested. And this is the business of fisheries, okay? And this is the industry of fisheries and definition of fisheries. Even when you just go out fishing and you're not part of a business or an industry, it's something that you are taken, harvesting, fishing, from a common resource, a common good, okay? So what about seafood? I'd like to define seafood at this stage. Um, in English, although seafood may sound like something coming from the sea, it's actually all animal and plant products from the aquatic environment. It doesn't matter if they come from the sea, they can come from the sea, but they can also come from brackish water or marine environments. So what I'd like you to kind of do with you now is, can you guess if this is an aquaculture activity or not? So this picture basically is a fish aggregating device. Basically, fish are attracted by specific things and they stay there. And this can be, it can be a, a log, it can be a, a, a buoy, it can be something that will attract fish and they will stay there. So in this case, um, they can attract up to different 300 species, okay? So fish are curious. If they don't, if there is nothing in the sea and suddenly there is something unique, they will try and gather around and find out what it is. Um, so this may be owned, this fish aggregating device, but it does not confer ownership of the stock of attracted fish. So although you have something that will attract 300 or more species, that doesn't mean that you own those 300 species. You just own the boy, okay? So this facilitates the capture, the harvesting, the fishing, but it does not enhance production. So therefore, this is not an aquaculture activity. In this case, what you have here is larvae and some eggs of, of a salmon, and this is in a salmon hatchery. So in this case, the salmon are owned by the hatchery and are sold as fingerlings, uh, fingerling fish. So in this case, actually, this constitutes an aquaculture activity. However, if you then release into the rivers to which they are eventually returned to breed, this, is, this then becomes a fishery. This is a restocking of, of a population. It's not an aquaculture activity. So if I go back to the first pictures I showed to you, in the case you took notes, I just want to let you know this is basically the, 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 the result. So the first picture was a sardine fisheries in the north of Portugal and they, they were um, unloaded to a fishing port. This is the fishing port of Matuzinhos. Uh, the second one, this is a fishing gear, so it constitutes a fisheries. And then you had artisanal fishing boats in Thailand, so fisheries again. And then uh, the picture, um, the, the, the last three pictures, the first one was uh, aquaculture of Asian sea bass. And uh, the next one was also an aquaculture of sea bass. And finally, the video was also at, um, at the closed system farming the broodstock of the sea bass. So I hope this was useful. And now you have a better understanding of the differences of fisheries and aquaculture. And you can also start to uh, read a paper that actually mentions how controversial these definitions may be and how they may be too limited to really uh, understand the two activities. Thank you for listening.